Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations and welcome back to the 13 days of Halloween. Well, to, I wanted to do something to go on the fridge. So I figured a banner be nice and simple and I got two pieces of cardstock, black and orange, to make the, the little triangles with. And in order to do that, to get them all even, we know how my measure, how doing things by hand doesn't always work out for me. I decided to make a template. So basically what I did on a piece of white cardstock, I don't know if you can see it, I measured two inches by two inches and then divided it in half the inch down here and then just drew a line corner to corner and cut it out and that gave me my template. Now I wanted them to go over the string so I simply took my cardstock making sure I have two inches and just folded it in half put my template down marked around it and cut it out and that gave me for each of the orange and the black and it's so much easier to get them on your string if you have them double-sided like this than trying to stick them. So I put this back down so you can see because black on when you're doing black on black it doesn't always work. Then because I'm trying to use just what I have in my Halloween container from the skeletons I have and these are just little cheap skeletons from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take off this part, set him aside, and then just take that off. Somewhere, where, oh, there's my trash. And they're not even tied, they're just looped around so it comes right off. And that is a lot of strain to, cut, to play with. And it's a jute cord, so really good. So I've got some of it started here and all I did was loop it over and glue it and it'll hang on my fridge. So I'm almost done. Now I made two marks. I don't know if you can see them but I made two marks on my cardstock here so I would know the, the how far apart I wanted them. So I've got orange there, and I'm going to come in here and do the black. And all I do is, because it's jute, I'm using Fabri-Tac. Put some glue down there. Make sure you got plenty in the center there, because it does have to go over the string. And then I'm laying this on one side of my mark out of my glue. So I've got my little mark there, set this one here, and then just lay my string down and fold it over. And yes, I do have glue coming out the sides, but it's okay. Mash that in really good. And there's another one. Let's do the last one I've got made here, which is my orange. Now you can do them in Halloween paper if you've got it or this is what I have and I don't use solid cardstock that much so any chance I can get I need to really use it up that, that moved a little bit just scoot it back down and fold it over just that simple and you can use this with any kind of um, little flags you need on your banner and there. I've got one that will just fit across my fridge. So now this is kind of long. Let me go ahead and cut some of this off. Cut it off to about there and no I'm not going to throw that away. I've got tags I can use that with. So now all I got to do is come in here and I picked out some stickers. Going through my bag I figured this would be a good size, but I didn't realize that 
the majority of my stickers were bigger so I had to go through and actually find some that would fit I'll start here with the skull because it's the first one in mine well all right we're gonna have play tug of war here where's my tape my tape on there and maybe this one doesn't peel off maybe that is I'll find out later if it decides to come off put that down now this one is kind of big so I'll make sure I get it sort of in the center and you do have time to move it around a little bit all right, now see, I know this has got to go on a black. Uh, this has to go on an orange because that's the cat. And I've got another orange here or another black, so I can go there. This one can go here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Because I don't want to put black on black. That wouldn't work. Just peel off the little tapes. I'm going to put a dot of my glue here just to make sure it stays. And down goes the black cat. I'm over here to my little pumpkin. And you don't need a whole lot of glue, just enough that it's going to stay there because I don't know how old my stickers are. Some of them are several years, and after a little bit, they tend not to stick. Now this one I've got to be a little careful with because it is a larger one, and I did measure it out, so it just barely fits, but I've got to get it positioned right before I put it down. Good enough. There we go. I can see barely a little bit here, but that one works. Now for my candy corn. And so many people don't like candy corn, but I'm one of those weird people. I like candy corn. I like the ones with the chocolate on top. Those are my favorites. I think you get those in like what they call the harvest mix. Alright, turn this around so this goes the right way. We've got a black bat, a little dab of glue, and this is so easy to make. All it takes is just a little bit of time, and before you know it, you've got a cute little banner. And it's something, you know, you can get all the pieces and together and get your banner made. And then let your kids do the stickers on them. All right, this one a little big, but it works. And then finally, the last skull. Only because I didn't have anything else that would fit, so I pulled out another skull. And that goes down. And our banner is done. Put these in the trash. Tape in there that I didn't need. If I can get it off my fingers. Where's my lid? I gotta clean that tip too. And here is our finished banner. We've got our skull. We have a ghost. A black bat with glitter. Our candy corn. And it does have a shimmer to it. A blue bat. Our pumpkin. Black cat. And our ghost skeleton to begin with. So, not bad. Just a few minutes work. And yeah, it turns weird now, but when I put it up on the fridge, it'll all hang straight. You see if I can get this around so that you can see it all in one picture. Doesn't want to work with me today. Not bad. Oh, Another day of our 13 days of Halloween done. If you like what I shared here with you today, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we still have, I think, 
seven more days in our 13 days of Halloween to go through. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.